हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand base bias amplifier, which is also known as fixed bias amplifier. This is the circuit for base bias amplifier. In this circuit, for a given transistor, the voltage V B E does not vary, and the resistor R B and D C voltage V C C are constant. Hence, the current I B also does not vary. If I B doesn't vary, then the current I C will also not varies. So in this type of biasing, since the voltage V B E does not vary, and the resistor R B and V C is constant, then the current I B will also not vary. If current I B doesn't vary, then the current I C will also not vary. Such type of biasing is known as fixed biased amplifier. For a fixed bias amplifier, first we need to understand the DC biasing. For any amplifier circuit, we need to perform the DC analysis. Then we need to understand the AC analysis. First, let us understand the DC analysis of base bias circuit. We know the voltage V B E can be written as V B minus V E. Since V E is equal to zero in the circuit, we can say V B is equal to V B E. We know V B E is equal to 0.7 volts. Therefore, we can say the voltage across the base is equal to 0.7 volt. Here, if we take V C C is plus 30 volt, R B as 1 mega ohm. R C as 5 kilo ohm, and let us take beta is equal to 100 for the circuit. At that case, we can say the current I B will be equal to V C C minus V B divided by R B. So the current I B will be equal to V C C minus V B divided by R B. So, if we substitute these values, we will get 30 volts minus 0.7 volt divided by 1 mega ohm. So, it will be equal to 29.3 micro amperes. So, we can approximate that value to 30 micro amperes. So, we can say the current I B is 30 micro amperes. Now, we can find the value of I C. That is equal to beta times I B, so we can say beta is equal to 100 multiplied with I B is 30 micro ampere. That will be equal to 3 milli ampere. So the current I C is 3 milli ampere. Also, the voltage across collector V C can be written as V C C minus I C R C. So the voltage V C we can write it as V C C minus I C R C. So if we substitute the values, V C C is 30 minus 3 milli ampere multiplied with 5 kilo. So V C will be equal to 15 volt. We know that V C E can be written as V C minus V E. Since V E is equal to zero, we can write V C E is equal to V C that will be equal to 15 volt. So these are the different values after DC analysis of base bias amplifier circuit. Now let us understand the AC analysis. To perform the AC analysis, we will take the biasing circuit. For that circuit, we will connect the coupling capacitors. at the input side as well as the output side as shown in this figure and an ac input signal is applied to the base terminal as shown in this figure this ac source voltage is a small sinusoidal voltage with dc level as 0 this signal will be superimposed at the base 
with a DC level of 0.7. So we have already calculated different DC levels here. So across the base, the voltage is 0.7 volt and across the collector, the voltage is 15 volts. So whatever input signal is there, that input signal is superimposed on 0.7 volt which is the base voltage and this is the waveform that is obtained across the base. At the collector, the voltage is amplified and inverted AC voltage is superimposed on 15 volts since the DC voltage across the collector is 15 volt. That's why the signal is amplified, it is inverted and the DC level of this signal will be 15 volt. The voltage that is obtained across the load which is load voltage is same as collector voltage except that it has the DC level of 0 volt. So this signal is obtained as the output across the load resistor RL. So whatever variation that happens at base this variation will cause the variation across the collector terminal. So this is about base bias amplifier hope you have understood the topic thank you